It is chilly. It is raining, sleeting, uh, cold, nasty out. Uh, <laughs> it's just gross out. Uh, and it's going to be chilly tomorrow too. I'm going to make some chili. This is the easiest chili ever. It's uh, I'm making turkey chili. Uh, if you usually use ground beef, you can use the ground beef. Uh, whatever kind of meat you use to make your chili, but this is the easiest chili ever. Uh, I'm using 8515 uh, ground turkey, and I've also got some uh, uh, 94.6. Uh, I do want a little bit of a fat content for my turkey for flavor. I've got some green and red pepper that I had up in my freezer. I always keep uh, peppers, mushrooms that are sliced and chopped in my freezer. Um, and I also have um, onion. I found some tomatoes <laughs> uh, and I didn't want them to go bad. So I washed them off and cut them up and put them in this bowl. I've got some crushed tomatoes, some stewed tomatoes. I've got uh, a packet of Lipton onion soup mix. And I have some ground cumin, which is the stuff that's in taco seasoning or your, you know, Mexican stuff. Um, and, you know, this is going to help so that I don't have to have, you know, a ton of salt in my chili. It's going to give it a lot of flavor. Um, but use whatever you, you know, you usually use. If you use a tomato... I also have some tomato paste. Um, some people don't use tomato paste. You know, whatever you use in your chili, do it. But this is how I do my chili. It's very simple, very easy. I'm going to put it in my crock, have it in my crock pot. It's a one pot uh, chili. You don't have to have, you know, like different pans to do this and that. Everything is in this one little crock pot. Um... And I'm going to throw everything in once I get it together. And then I'm going to go get in my bed and pull the covers up over my head and go to sleep. Uh, so <laughs> let's get to it. Family, see how that's starting to come together? You are going to get a nice ground turkey facial. <laughs> uh, doing this. Uh, the... the um, Onion soup mix. I love onion soup mix. I mean, it's really old school. I use it in everything. I use it to make my homemade gravy, beef stew, um, any type of gravy, pan gravy, whatever. I just, you know, take the fat and drain it off of whatever, you know, meat drippings I have. And I add the onion soup mix in a little water or milk, mix it together. Um, but I use onion soup mix in a lot um, of things. Sometimes I use the whole packet. Sometimes I don't. Uh, it all depends, but one thing that's really important is that if you use onion soup mix, uh, you really have to watch salt, any extra added salt. Um, and when I use onion soup mix, I don't, that's the salt for me. So, but see how that's coming? That's coming together real nice. I want some more, uh, more sear on this ground turkey. Uh, I'm going to let this go for another minute or two. Another two minutes. And I wish you had smell a vision uh, I always say that, but <laughs> it smells so good. You can smell the peppers, the onions, the ground turkey, the onion soup mix. It smells really good. I'm not adding the cumin right now. Um, and another thing, if you didn't have cumin, um, like the seasoning, this, uh, any type of ground cumin, then you could always, you know, if you have taco seasoning, just don't do the onion soup mix. Just do the, the, uh, the onion. If you have taco seasoning, that can also make a good chili. I mean, people say, oh, you know, that's tacky, whatever, whatever. It has the seasonings in it for chili. So if you have a packet of chili, of taco seasoning, you can season your ground beef or your ground turkey um, to your taste, to your liking, and then add, you know, like your stewed tomatoes, your beans, and all that when you're making your chili. But a, a packet of taco seasoning is essentially chili season. So, like, whatever. Um, use what you have. 
and you know improvise and make do so I'm gonna let this go for another minute um, and it should be pretty good for uh, pretty good to go for me to add start adding my tomatoes and uh, my stewed tomatoes and then my cumin so has gotten really nice uh, I told you I had some leftover tomatoes. Um, any type of tomatoes that you have, you know, like you might have leftover tomatoes from making sandwiches or whatever. I had like leftover tomatoes, cherry tomatoes from salad um, that I washed off and just cut up. Um, I, you know, I want to use. I hate wasting food. <laughs> um, you can leave them whole. You can cut them up. It really doesn't matter when they're cherry tomatoes. Even if you have like a big tomato and you cut it into like quarters, just throw it in because it's going to disintegrate anyway. So my tomatoes are in there. Uh, I'm going to let that go. The fresh tomatoes really make your chili have a burst of uh, I don't know like maybe it's just me but <laughs> they give it a, a little extra fresh you know taste I don't know and like I said that could just be me but I love fresh anything in uh, dishes so, um, so I'm gonna let that go for a minute and I'm about to put in my cumin and my stewed tomatoes family this smells so good <laughs> so good um I'm getting ready to add my it doesn't matter what you have I mean it just so happens that this is what you know I have crushed tomatoes add that a can of that um and um I want all that sauce out of that can <laughs> I want every bit of sauce out that can that I paid for. Um, you know, if all you have are crushed tomatoes, stewed tomatoes, it doesn't even matter what kind of tomatoes you have. It just so happens that I have crushed and stewed tomatoes left. Okay, so I added, uh, I'm adding my tomatoes. There's another can of tomatoes. Um, and they're basically both 14.5 14, 14 ounces. Um, I have added two cans of tomatoes and I have some fresh tomatoes um and I'm looking you know just kind of look and see what you have because I also have uh tomato sauce and tomato paste um and tomato paste is just you know tomato sauce that has uh doesn't have the water in it hasn't it's it's you know it's paste is just thickened and no liquid has been added to it. So it's basically the same. But um, you just have to add, you know, water to the tomato um, paste. But I've got two cans of sauce. No salt. Sauce. Any kind of sauce that you have. Um, any kind of, you know, tomato sauce that you have in your at your place or... Um, tomato paste like I have some no salt added um, sauce so I'm going to add that one can of that uh, and I've got let's see let me look and see what this looks like um, it's starting to look kind of juicy juicy oh sorry all right, that looks uh, juicy. You ever see some people when they like chop the meat to death? You don't have to do that. Like chili, I want it to be kind of, you know, chunky. But you'll see people make spaghetti and stuff like that. And they take the ground beef or the ground turkey and they chop it into like 10,000 little small bits. <laughs> and they look like little beads, you know. I kind of like, you know, pasta sauce, spaghetti, chili. I like it chunky. So I don't want it, you know, pounded almost into a paste with just little small beads in it. I mean, if that's what you do, then cool. But, you know, you, I don't want you on my team if you do that with meat. Uh, 
That's weak. Anyway, I'm going to add my cumin, um, which, you know, always looks like a dirty word, but I'm not going to go there because I told myself that I was going to keep these cooking segments family friendly. Ha 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 ha. Uh, so I'm going to add my cumin. Um, I'm eyeballing it, but probably about two table of uh, one tablespoon and a half. I'm just going to do that initially, and then I can always go back and add more. So, um, I don't know about you, but I don't like my pasta sauce to taste like Skittles. I don't like anything tomato saucy to taste like candy, but I do like a little bit of sugar. So I put a little bit in there, um, about a tablespoon, probably less than that, that I just sprinkled in there. Um, but I like my chili and my sauces to have some sweetness to it. And also a little sugar breaks the acid of the tomatoes. You don't want it tasting like Skittles though. So, you know, please don't add a couple of tablespoons of sugar or a half a cup of sugar or, um, or more. Uh, that would really be not, that wouldn't be good at all. That just, <laughs> that would not be good. Uh, I don't even want to think about that. So, you know what? I'm going to add some of uh, that second can. And these are little cans of sauce. These are very, these are the little short cans of sauce that are like four ounces, I think. Uh, eight ounces, but they're, you know, they're small. I added one whole eight ounce can, but just eyeball your chili. You know how much liquid you, you know, need. Let me move the camera. Okay, see how it's starting to look? Um, it's kind of morphing into a very rough sketch of chili. And look, look at this. Um, dish towel on the um, on the burner uh, I can't tell you how many times growing up I've seen dish towels uh, catch fire <laughs> you think we know but uh, <laughs> I don't know anyway you know I don't know if somebody gets a little drink a little taste and start cooking you know, anything might happen. But see how that's starting to get kind of like really, I'm going to uh, get my heat. So I want that to um, go and I'm going to do um, a little more of that cumin. You don't want maybe like a teaspoon. You don't want uh, too much of the cumin. Don't forget, if you have taco seasoning, you just have to add your taco seasoning to taste. You might not need the whole entire packet. Um, you know, just add it and taste your meat. And when it tastes, you know, chili, kind of chili-ish, <laughs> you know, you you know, you're good. So, and you can always, you know, if you feel like you need some more, when it's hanging out in the crock pot, you can always add more of that seasoning. So, all right, I'm gonna let this go for about two minutes and then I'm gonna turn off the heat and then I'm going to get this into, uh, onto my crock pot base. It smells so good, oh my goodness. <laughs> just, I had a can, that can back there, black beans, and I'm just gonna run some off um, you know, I usually don't have, still have dishes in my <laughs> sink, but I did cupcakes and then I did this like back to back. So I'm trying to have enough time to do this. I'm usually like so much tidier and cleaner, but today, hey, you know, sometimes it's like that. So I rinse these off. Um, and I'm going to put them 
and my chili. Um, I do black beans in my chili because kidney beans freak me out. Um, and you might say, well, black beans freak me out, but I can't do uh, kidney beans. I, you know, when I was little, a kidney bean found its way into my mouth some kind of way, and I like almost, like, just, I don't know. <laughs> I freaked out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, <clears throat> I don't like the look of kidney beans. I don't like the, t especially those really super big kidney beans. I don't like the taste of kidney beans, but especially how they look. I just don't like them. So, um, what I can deal with are black beans. Um, and whether you use kidney beans, black beans, or if you have some kind of other bean that you like to use, um, put as much or as little as you like. I think for me, this is a, a happy medium, like this amount of uh, black beans. Uh, you know, I don't want any more or any less. You see those big chunks of tomato? Oh my gosh, this is, this is looking really, really sexy. It's starting to look, look at that. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out, I'm looking at this and I'm like, do I want to add... You know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna add the uh, rest of that sauce. And I'm gonna tell you what else I'm gonna do. Um, and I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Uh, I'm not making a soup or a stew, it's chili, but as this cooks in the pot overnight, because like I said, after I get this together, I'm getting in my bed, take a shower and brush my teeth and get in my bed. But I want it to have, um, not be, you know, like dried out. But that's the perfect consistency, I think. Um, so um, I'm going to tidy up a bit because um, this is driving me crazy. Uh, you know, you guys uh, know I have OCD if you watched uh, my video on me doing a tour of my little uh, pillbox apartment. Um, <laughs> and any other videos that I do, I usually will mention um, that I have OCD. So this is driving me crazy, like even having this little bit of stuff right here. So I'm going to tidy up. I'm going to let this hang out on low. Um, and I'm going to come back with this on my family. I'm back. And uh, praise Jesus, I got to clean up this little area near my sink because it was driving me nuts. If you have, you know, any kind of OCD uh, and neat, neatness, order, orderliness, cleanliness, um, like I do, do you know how, you know, having something in the sink, like, almost drive you nuts? But, you know, I got my other stuff over here, like, you know, drying off. Um, but getting that sink area and getting this cleaned off. And I've got my uh, chili on my crock pot base. Uh, look at that. I mean, it hasn't even, you know, had a chance to sit overnight so it can get really right. But it already, you know, that tomato's going to disintegrate. Um, the meat. The flavors are going to meld into the meat. Um, I did add about a, a teaspoon of seasoned salt. A teaspoon. Um, probably a little less than a teaspoon. You might need more. Um, like I said, adjust your seasonings. I am not on a sodium-restricted diet, but I am using less sodium, sugar, uh, and oil and fats in my cooking. Um, so I, I've greatly reduced that butter, all that. I don't use, uh, I've never used a whole lot of it, but I use even less now um, for health reasons. So, but look at that. It's starting to, you know, look really good. It's, it's chunky. Um, and I also did add, I didn't have to add, you know, like any more um, sugar. And you really don't have to add any sugar if you don't want to at all. Some people don't like, you know, red sauces to taste sweet at all. They like the acidity of them. Um, for me, like I said, I like it. I like a little bit of uh, little sweetness, not a lot. 
I don't want it to taste like candy, like uh, sunbursts or now and laters or Skittles. But, you know, I want a little bit of sweetness there. But um, I'm going to taste it one last time before I put the lid on and go take my shower, get in my bed. And I'm going to be out. Uh, let me see what's going on with this. Oh, wow. Mm. A little um, sprinkle of the cumin. That's it. And that's, that's all I need. Um, and I'm going to uh, I'll, uh, eat that now. Mmm. Hey. I'm gonna clamp the lid over this. Family, this chili is ready. I just took the top off. <clears throat> Look how creamy. <sighs> oh, that's so nice. Um, I do want it to be, you know, not too thin, not too thick. And I think I've kind of reached a really happy medium here with this. Um, but this is ready for chili bowls, uh, chili bread bowls. This is ready for <laughs> sour cream. This is ready for shredded cheese. This is ready for rice. It's ready for mashed potatoes. It's ready for cornbread slices. It's ready for cornbread muffins. It's ready just on its own. <laughs> Um, you know, you've got some big chunks of tomatoes that are nice and soft. You've got the black beans. Like I said, use whatever kind of beans you want. Uh, I just so happen to hate kidney beans and I love black beans. So I use those. Um, but look at that. It's just my whole apartment smells like, uh, chili, turkey chili. Uh, so I am going to, um, you know, come back when I plate this. Cause you know, I always have to show you guys when I sit down to plate it and eat it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have it with rice or no, just chili with cornbread. I don't know if I'm gonna hollow out and make a bread bowl or what, but this is, um, oh, it smells so good. I'm so excited. It's so sexy. <laughs> thank you guys again for watching. Um, once again, thank you for watching. God bless. Uh, I wish you guys peace and blessings. I hope everyone's doing okay. I know it's hard in these times of COVID. Um, we can try to connect with, you know, with each other, with uh, family and food and friends and music and stuff like that. Uh, and take it one day at a time. But thank you for watching, for subscribing if you do. Thank you for liking if you do. Uh, thank you for hitting the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. And just thank you for being a friend. Uh, Peace, got be more chick out. Bye.